Ace Science Fiction Specials are three series of science fiction and fantasy books published by Ace Books between 1968 and 1990. Terry Carr edited the first and third series, taking the TV special concept and adapting it to paperback marketing. The first series was one of the most influential in the history of science fiction publishing. Four of the six novels nominated for 1970 Nebula Awards were from the series. The date given is the year of publication by Ace, some are first editions and some are reprints. Also given is the Ace serial number. The serial number given is that of the first printing in the Ace Special series, except for the reissue of Rite of Passage. Books with a previous first edition are noted as reissue below. The order listed for Series 1 is the original order of publication, the price is given. Ace reissued many of these books outside of the Ace Special line with different covers and prices, and sometimes different paginations. Award winners are noted, many were nominated for awards. Topic. Series 1 Clifford D. Simak, Why Call Them Back from Heaven? 1968, reissue from 1967, H. 42, 60 C. James H. Schmitz, The Witches of Cars, 1968, reissue from 1966, A. 13, 75 C. R. A. Lafferty, Past Master, 1968, H. 54, 60 C. Gertrude Friedberg, The Revolving Boy, 1968, reissue from 1966, H. 58, 60 C. Wilson Tucker, The Lincoln Hunters, 1968, reissue from 1958, H. 62, 60 C. Alexei Panchin, Rite of Passage, 1968, A16, 75 C, Nebula Award winner. Joanna Russ, Picnic on Paradise, 1968, H72, 60 C. Bob Shaw, The Two Timers, 1968, H79, 60 C. DG Compton, Synthajoy, 1968, reissue from UK same year, H86, 60 C. Piers Anthony and Robert E. Margroff, The Ring, 1968, A19, 75 C. James Blish and Norman L. Knight, A Torrent of Faces, 1968, reissue from 1967, A29, 75 C. James H. Schmitz, The Demon Breed, 1968, H105, 60 C. Roger Zelazny, Isle of the Dead, 1969, 37,465, 60 C. John Brunner, The Jagged Orbit, 1969, 38,120, 95 C. Ursula K. Le Guin, The Left Hand of Darkness, 1969, 47,800, 95 C. Hugo Award and Nebula Award winner, first edition of this title. Philip K. Dick, The Preserving Machine, 1969, 67,800, 95 C. Collection Avram Davidson, The Island Under the Earth, 1969, 37,425, 75 C. John T. Sladek, Macasm, 1969, reissue from 1968, originally the reproductive system, 71,435, 75 C. D. G. Compton, The Silent Multitude, 1969, 76,385, reissue from 1967, 75 C. Bob Shaw, The Palace of Eternity, 1969, 65,050, 75 C. Keith Roberts, Pavane, 1969, reissue from 1968, 65,430, 95 C. Michael Moorcock, The Black Corridor, 1969, reissue from UK earlier in 1969, 06530-75C. Alexei Panchin, Rite of Passage, 1969, reissue with Nebula Award, Best SF Novel of the Year. On cover, 72781, 75C. R. A. Lafferty, Fourth Mansions, 1969, 24590, 75 C. 
D. G. Compton, The Steel Crocodile, 1970, 78,575, 75 C. Joanna Russ, and Chaos Died, 1970, 02268, 75 C. Avram Davidson, The Phoenix and the Mirror, 1970, reissue from 1969, 66175 C. Ron Goulart, After Things Fell Apart, 1970, 00950, 75 C. Wilson Tucker, The Year of the Quiet Sunday, 1970, 94,200, 75 C. Retroactive Campbell Award in 1976. R. A. Lafferty, 900 Grandmothers, 1970, 58,050, 95 C. Collection. Ursula K. Le Guin, A Wizard of Earthsea, 1970, reissue from 1968, 90,075, 75 C. D. G. Compton, Chronocules, 1970, 10,480, 75 C. Bob Shaw, One Million Tomorrows, 1970, 62,938, 75 C. Clifford D. Simak, Why Call Them Back from Heaven? 1970, reissue from 1968, 88,601, 75 C. John Brunner, The Traveler in Black, 1971, 82,210, 75 C. Suzette Hayden Elgin, Furthest, 1971, 25,950, 75 C. Bruce McAllister, Humanity Prime, 1971, 34,900, 95 C. Michael Moorcock, The Warlord of the Air, 1971, reissue from UK earlier in 1971, 87,060, 75 C. Gerard F. Conway, The Midnight Dancers, 1971, 52,975, 75 C. Gordon Eklund, The Eclipse of Dawn, 1971, 18,630, 75 C. Carr had purchased eight more books for the line, which Ace later published after the series was terminated. The Aldous volume had been delayed due to issues over Canadian publishing rights, and eventually appeared with the Carr commissioned Dylan cover. Brian W. Aldous, Barefoot in the Head D. G. Compton, The Missionaries Gordon Eklund, A Trace of Dreams Fritz Leiber, You're All Alone Barry N. Malsberg, The Falling Astronauts Tom Purdom, The Barons of Behavior Bob Shaw, Other Days, Other Eyes Theodore Sturgeon, The Worlds of Theodore Sturgeon Topic. Series 2 This series was not edited by Terry Carr. Mary Statton, From the Legend of Beale, 1975, 25,460 D. D. Chapman and Delarus Lehman Tarzan, Red Tide, 1975, 71,160 Marion Zimmer Bradley, Endless Voyage, 1975, 20,660. Stanislaw Lem, The Invincible, 1975, 37,170. Felix C. Gotchik, Growing Up in Tier 3000, 1975, 30,420. Walt Richmond and Lee Richmond, Challenge the Hellmaker, 1976, 10,150. Thomas Burnett Swan, Lady of the Bees, 1976, 46,850. Thomas Burnett Swan, The Tournament of Thorns, 1976, 81,900. William Barton, A Plague of All Cowards, 1976, 66,780. Chelsea Quinn Yarbrough, Time of the Fourth Horseman, 1976, 81,189. Bob Shaw, Orbitsville, 1977, 63,780. Topic: Series 3. Terry Carr returned on a freelance basis to edit this series, all of them first novels. Kim Stanley Robinson, The Wild Shore, 1984, 88,870. 
Carter Shoals and Glen Harcourt, Palimpsests, 1984, 65,065. Lucius Shepard, Green Eyes, 1984, 30,274. Howard Waldrop, Them Bones, 1984, 80,557. William Gibson, Neuromancer, 1984, 56,956. Nebula Award and Hugo Award winner. Michael Swanwick, In the Drift, 1985, 35,869. Jack McDevitt, The Hercules Text, 1986, 37,367. Lauren J. McGregor, The Net, 1987, 56,941. Richard Cadry, Metrophage, 1988, 52,813. Ted Reynolds, The Tides of God, 1989, 80,894. Claudia O'Keefe, Black Snow Days, 1990, 06689. Gregory Feely, The Oxygen Barons, 1990, 64,571.